In this video, I'm going to take three clips and give you guys quick tips to improve in EAFC. And then on top of that, we're going to dive into a full match to improve your game. My name's John. I'm a professional EAFC coach, a top 100 player, and your guide to success. If you're tired of getting stuck at 14 wins and not improving, well, it's most likely up here and not the game. So we're going to dive into some deep concepts. So before we get into that, let's hear first a word from our sponsor. Stop putting your account at risk and using coin sellers. Because now with FCAlert.ai, you can follow the trading advice from our ChatGPT integrated trader trained by two top traders on the FC market for free. Be one of the first 10,000 signups and gain access to the upgraded beta AI influencer tracker releasing for FC25. Get started trading with AI. Alrighty, let's go ahead and hop into a couple of quick little clips. If you guys are brand new to this, uh, this is where I go in and I frame by frame break down and 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 uh, you know edit everything. But guys, if you're brand, if, if we've helped you succeed, drop a like, drop a like, please, please drop a like. So that, that way you stay on the algo. Okay, so in this position, guys, this is a quick little uh, score, 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 score. In this clip, I'm going to show you. In this clip, I'm going to show you how to use a creative run. I'm also going to show you how to commit players to slide in aggressive stances. Okay, let's go through this. First off, what you're looking for is you're looking for somebody to run outward while you go inward. That's the key to creative runs. If you guys don't know, we can, we'll can we make a full tutorial on them. And again, same concept. We're making outside, inside. And then the second it looks like we're about to take a shot, this is when players are most likely to get manipulated therefore you just pass out of it and bang it right behind the neck that or the net and that's how you score easy goals okay let's move on to the second one rapid fire uh for all you newbies so uh we're looking for that incisive creative run we get a wide open run now this is very important this is a, a striker attack strategy that you want to play if off you want to basically knock off the back post player and then once you get into an open area, you're going to get players that are going to commit. And so you want to wait. You don't want to just slide and shoot. So a lot of players at the highest level, guys, you're going to run into people that are going to move the keeper more frequently than run out. So actually shooting across the box isn't the smartest thing to do at this stage of the game. What you're more likely to see happen is somebody actually like go back into the net or they're going to move the keeper, right? And so I'm expecting to actually finish on this side of the net. And so I wait. He ends up coming out at me, which throws me off. And then he has a run to finish. But instead, you just want to hold on to it because he's in an extremely exposed position to go ahead and finish that out. That's a quick tip to help you guys score more, more goals against, if you're a high-level player, I guess against lower-level players there. All right, the next one's going to be a power shot cancel. In this clip, we're going to basically break down a power shot cancel to create space and commit players. Let's dive into it. Okay, so we get the ball. It's bang, 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 bang. A little ping pong action here. Okay, we get in the ball right here. We're going to manage that location. He jumps just a hair. We take a nice touch. You see how perfect that touch is? And then we fake shot cancel. And then what that does is it gets him to commit out wide. And then that opens up the back an easy lane. Not a bad clip. Not, not a hard clip to do. It's actually uh, one of my favorites. Uh, it's just a timing thing. So, anyways, let's move on into the next video or the next sequence. Uh, why is that there? Okay, so uh, we're going to rock into uh, a full match here. I have no idea uh, what the, the main focus is going to be of this video, but we are going to rock it. Anyways, we can do a Nike, uh, like a little... Uh, Knock on position, we rotate, we rotate. We're just looking for small spaces, small spaces, small spaces, small spaces, managing small spaces. We take it wide. I just try to I try to get on to the interior and break that position, but now we're in an exposed position, so I need to track back. I need to manage Kafu's position. He's recognizing it, and then he rotates. He makes a really good decision. I think this guy's a very high-level player. I think this guy's actually a pretty high-level player. I think this is a thousand SR, so I do believe. I do believe. Oh, I jump, I jump, I jump. I make a real. I, that's a blunder of a mistake. So I need to manage the interior. And I think he's off there. But uh, we do. Oh, hey, he's not. But he, we manage the position. So now what we're looking at is where's his fullback? Do I have safety coming up? He, I do not. I don't have any run. I don't have an option. Bad decision. And I, I've been talking about this lately, guys. Is 
after uh, I have a lot going, I have had a lot going on. Um, currently, guys, I'm actually in. I'm I'm most likely in Switzerland or Greece right now as we speak, and so I've, I've recorded a lot of this within the uh, similar time frame. And the main thing I want to show guys is these videos are actually going to probably even be better than when I'm playing at my peak ELO because it shows you where I actually correct my own mistakes. Because typically when I'm at like a 1200, 1300 SR ELO, um, I'm making so few mistakes. It's more of like hyper analysis that uh, a lot of you guys may not even need, uh, or you may not be able to get to that point to where you can hyper that analysis. And so I make a lot of mistakes at this uh, when when I uh, basically guys I I have a, I'm on a honeymoon. We've been prepping for a honeymoon. My dad's in the hospital. My mom's in the hospital. Uh, she has cancer. My dad has a major. I just had a huge surgery. We have all these things. And I appreciate any support, but don't don't feel like you have to say, guys. I'm I'm, I'm very useful. I'm, I'm I'm not trying to get a heartfelt moment here. What I'm trying to say is my mental state is not in the game. Okay, that's where my ment my mentality is not in the game. I haven't been getting good sleep, type of thing. Anyways, so when I don't do well, this is the stuff you see. You see me do these fake shots. I do all I do all the prep work for it, and then I'm just like, brain does not brain does not compute, and then I just. I just make a really bad decision, and there it goes. Brain does not compute, bad decision. And so that's constant, and that's con going to constantly happen to you guys. Even in elite, guys, even in the pro scene, you're seeing those mistakes. So now I need to draw and rotate back, and then I jump. So that's another mistake I'm making. I'm jumping because I'm aggressive. I'm expecting. I want, I, I want the quick fix, baby. Give me the pass early. Give me the pass early instead of taking it late. So you'll see me take those type of jumps. I don't need to jump there. And so like right here, I'm actually managing that position. That's a pretty good defensive rotation. Uh, this is something that you're not going to see a lot of uh, lower-level players do. This is actually a high-level low ELO thing. But is instead of switching to center back, I actually drop the CDM below, and I mark that right there. That's actually a higher-level thing. A lot of players would make the switch and then lose their momentum there. And you just want to make sure you maintain your position while maximizing your momentum. That's basically the uh, that's kind of the main, main gist of it. So, of course... Uh, I think he's going to go up here, or he's going to try to hit right here. So we'll see what happens. So I'm right in position, and we, we uh, yeah. Um, so if you guys want to defend uh, corners, I'll, I'll just give you guys a quick tip. You want to move the goalkeeper to, like, this relative position based on, like, where they are. Um, but the problem is they can go straight to goal, and then they can also go, like, far post. Uh, it takes a lot of effort and skill to learn how to do far post. So you can pretty much nullify anybody that's like below a thousand SR with this. And then what happens is you get people that can start to hit this. So if you can knock both of these out, you're pretty good. And I'll just stay right in goal. And then what I'm looking for is if this isn't going to target here, I'm looking to switch directly here. And so I'm going to manage that or I'm going to try to draw the keeper back. So I'm kind of doing both uh, effectively, essentially. And so... That's that's my strategy. It's it's one of those that like I hate corner kicks this year, and so I'm looking at that wide open run. Look at that, and so that's the vision, boys. That's the vision. That's not even long ball plus. That's just a that's just a that's a properly timed play, and then I have to get I get rotated all the way, and he wins that pass, which is ridiculous. So um, to do this pass, guys, you don't need long ball uh, plus. Um, you just need uh, L1 and triangle and good long pass. You really need that good long pass. And so I believe Hansen has pretty good long pass. But if you look, I'm real. it's really about the position. So look how good the position is, and then we just manage that pass. And so that's a pretty good play. Um, I started getting addicted to this skill move, and realistically, I don't need to be doing that skill move. It actually kind of kills your momentum. I don't like it. You have to make the pass out of it uh, for it to be effective. If not, you're just rotating the play, and you're not doing a great job, uh, typically. That's kind of how I look at it. So we're step step over is fake, step over is fake. We get played. There's the pass. There's the puzzle. We solve the puzzle, and we lose the puzzle. So uh, this is where I like to say we solve the puzzle. We get bang, bang, bang. If you guys like to solve a Rubik's Cube, this is like getting this to this position is like solving two layers of the Rubik's Cube, and all we have to do is pull him forward, and then we have to get an incisive run or an exterior run. And I just get into a position, and then I come back on it. I wasn't expecting him to jump that hard on me, and I'm expecting to have more space there. And so I was expecting to have a little bit more space, and I just didn't get it. He hits the fake. He hits a double fake. 
Um, so he's canceling animations on me. So I tell usually when I see stuff like that happening right here, that tells me SR is high. So this might be a thousand SR player. Uh, we'll see what happens uh, as we rotate over and the ball goes right back into space, which is a really good play. This is uh, this is a level two gambit that that is pretty effective. So when you get into this ball right into the spot, so this is level three. Uh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, well, uh, what I'm building out a boot camp. And so uh, my boot camp will basically dive into a lot of this. But this goes right back into space. If he means to do it or not, or he just reads the space well, um, that's one thing. If he me meant to, to pass that, to manipulate me out, then pull me back in, that's one thing. But that's a next level thing. But typically, that's not you're not seeing that until you get into the pro scene. Uh, that level of manipulation, you're usually reading space, reading and writing quickly. So you're reacting faster or anticipating positions uh, very quick rather than like manipulating that outcome. So that's that's a ridiculous pass. This pass should never have gone through. Uh, this is more of a uh, this is a Chavi pass that just animates straight to him. And so I have nothing. I have no choice but really to slide uh, given uh, the position to to manage a I guess a. A kick. So what I like to do is I like to jump side to side, side to side, and I aim down the middle. So this is actually a manipulation. I love doing this, guys. Uh, this is the biggest tip I can promise you. And if 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 I save you a goal kick, guys, subscribe. Okay, just subscribe. Just just hit, just hit the bell, ladies and gentlemen. Just hit the freaking bell to get notified when we go live or when we make these posts. But here's the concept: your your opponent is very nervous just as much as you are. But if you do this, I promise you, you're going to save a lot of goals. And the thing about it is, if you see a goalkeeper jumping side to side, side to side, side to side, a lot of people, commonly, it's almost over 50%, will go straight down the middle. Almost always. It happens so frequently, it's ridiculous. Because they're like, this guy's, this, I, I don't know, I don't, you know, he's definitely jumping side to side, so he's going to one side or the other. And so I, then I just stay flat. But you really have to sell it. You really have to stay flat, flat. You have to jump side to side. You said I clipped it. You can go side to side, 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 and then just really have to time it to where it's once it's locked in, he can't change. Because uh, sometimes people will just move it just a little bit, and you may be moved into a wrong position. So he tries to hit that far post. So that's how to save yourself some goals, baby. Um, so subscribe, guys. That, that's the main thing. Just subscribe. You don't have to. You really don't have to if you don't have value. But uh, I make a bad pass or I make a bad movement. So um, this is this is an issue. This is totally, this is, ladies and gentlemen, this is me being poor. Um, I was just really hyped after that because I got a nice clip there. And so, you know, as a content creator, you really want to focus on clips. But, okay, so here we go. Now we're, now we're going to draw back, drive down. And so I manage the interior. We're going to position or replace. That's the idea. We managed out the exterior, so now I need to drive down, and I'm just going to try to rotate in that position. I'm actually in a good spot. I'm just waiting for that zone to come down, and I jump out, and I'm ready for the in interception. That actually is a major block. That's good. This is my issue. Uh, Vieira tracks rather than staying back. He tracks all the way over, and now I'm in a bad spot, so now I have to track down, and then I have, uh, have Vieira's momentum overload. So this is where... This is where you're going to get burned at my level, guys, is this is why I talk about crosshairs all the time. Basically, in this position right here, you're going to have a crosshair. And so I need to stay in a pinpoint of a position between two locations. I need somebody to stay with a direct route to goal and in this position. I need both. I need to manage both of these locations. So if my player goes all the way here, I need then I need this guy to go back. So I need one of these two positions to actually occur but when i have this drop and then i'm late to this i'm i it's very tight so you can see me rotate i rotate relative i like i do the right player switch i'm late on my timing so like right here if i uh as he turns down i need to just already switch so this is where i need to see and read this animation so you see that animation's being read i, I need to read that right now and i'm just late to it and then i shoulder i'm thinking he's going to pass back that's a tough angle to take. That's a really smart angle to take. That usually tells me that somebody's a lot higher than, I, than I'm anticipating. That was a ridiculous tackle, though. But okay, so now we're going to manage the interior. He plays through, plays through, plays through, plays through. There's a step, there's a step. Patience, 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 patience. Now we have an advantage. Now we have an advantage. We're maintaining that symphony. That symphony is an orchestra. If you guys have been watching a lot of our content, 
We're rotating, rotating. There's the pass. Oh, we just barely miss it. Now our fullback's overloaded, so we need to manage the interior and that edge. Manage the interior, we do. Big tackle and, of course, another foul. But there goes the edge again. My fullback's still out. I don't know why. They had a foul, and we'd still manage location. So now we're in level two. Managing both, we have to defend level three, and that's where he's rotating. So I'm rotating over to level three, staying on one side, managing both positions, and there we go. And so that's strong, strong defense. Managing, managing, managing. The ball comes wide. Big touch, ball roll away, or a big knock on. Yep, exactly. And then ball roll scoop, potentially just a simple ball roll inside. Looking for that incisive run, and we just barely miss it. Now, right card's got in set plus, so not everybody's going to win that. Um, and so we can leave it to that, I guess, but basically step, 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 and win that. Yep. There's a win managed right up to the striker. We're going to man it. Ah, this is timing right here. So I need to, I need to hit him with a double move right here. So I need to hit him with a double move and I need to like, I just need to hold on to this. To be honest, I just need to hold on to it. I, I played that way too early. I, I think I was actually trying to hit Hanson. Um, I just played that too early. So if my timing was correct, so watch out. So now he's trying to send that run. He sees me send a player over. And so uh, it actually kind of threw him off. That's probably why he uh, his stick probably got switched off on a weird spot. So, oh, we jumped. He jumped and we he made a mistake. So this is what this is a high level concept, guys. This is a big tip. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. This is a massive tip to help you destroy high-level players. He's, is he beating you by speed? Is he beating you by focus? Is he just so much faster than you? Well, guess what? You do this tip, you're going to score more goals. Ladies and gentlemen, let me show you something that you're going to love. Okay, so this is why I love playing really high-level players. When I'm at my peak performance. Okay, so what happens is if you hit a fake... They jump, baby. They jump. And so if you look at this, if I time this right, if I hit a fake, he might actually jump that, and then I'm just straight through. So when I'm at a peak performance, guys, I'm anticipating that movement, and I've got a wide-open goal. So if I'm in peak ELO, ladies and gentlemen, this is a goal. But I'm not. And therefore, now it goes right back the other way. So that's the difference between like a, like a 1,200 SR player and like a... 900 to 950 is you may hit that you may not that's that's what it comes down to is like you almost have created rng for yourself we're managing location managing defense managing defense and which is boom just step right in we had a position replacement we're gonna manage we need to be patient though we need to be patient i got nothing oh with kafu on the wet and uh of course, we make another mistake, wide open mistake. We did all the hard work. So let me show you. Let's, uh, let's play this one back. So right here, guys, I send this forward. There's no reason for me to do this. This is very aggressive. This is right in the middle of the field, which is like insane to send a, a fullback. I've got a strong position. And so all I need to do is just get a, he's expecting that initial pass. And I'm going to play it through and wait. And so this is, this is a technique that, uh, of course, um, it rolls because of how far he comes out of the ball uh, versus me actually hitting it heavy. So I should have just sprinted or uh, with that much space. But him pulling that goalkeeper that far out that early uh, usually is a high-level skill, guys. That, I mean, it's either like you're, you're doing it all the time, it's a bad skill, or you do it selectively, and it's a good skill. And he did it selectively, and it's a good skill. So we do a fake. And so this is where I'm just off my game. You guys can just tell when I'm off my game is like right here. So I do a really nice pass. I've got this three on two scenario. I've got the cross pattern, uh, the classic FIFA goal this season. And I get the fake and then I'm ready to jo go. And then I'm ready and I just pass it to him. So what's happening, guys, is if you think of like you animating, my whole concept here is I'm going to fake here. I'm going to try to get him to go there, and I'm going to try to get him to step in. So he steps really far versus stepping really, like, towards that position. I wasn't expecting him to go that far, and I'm expecting some sort of animation to make that pass. So if I'm able to read that faster, if I'm able to think faster, I'm able to stop that. And there's another mistake I made. Uh, I actually pull R1. A lot of you guys, when I, when I do bad habits, here's another bad habit. One... Let me let me show you let me show you the difference between a 1200 SR player <laughs> and a 900. First off, right here, 
I'm going to stay right in between this passing lane on this pass. I'm not going to shift slightly over. I'm hitting that on the T. So that's a speed mechanic. So first off, he doesn't get past this position. Potentially, and then his fullback's out of position. I'm right back. Bang, 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 bang. I got a bang, bang play off of a break point. Doesn't matter. Take that away. Here's another 1,000 SR. This is the difference between a 1,200 and a 900 is right here. I accidentally tap R900. Now, this, or R1, this is not even a 900 SR. This is like a 700 SR. Uh, not doing that. Don't do that. But here's the thing. I found and I, re I read that instantly. I read the recovery, and so I switch, switch, and then I just go right to him because I knew that momentum was going to go right over to that position. And so we're able to, do we scrap it? Do we scrap? We do scrap it. So we scrap it. And so that's why I call it bend, not break. Now, what I did there was I made like three major mistakes. I made, I made like three blunders, okay? I made, I made three big mistakes. Or I made one massive mistake. I made two blunders and one slight mistake. I missed the pass with Vieira. And then I pulled my fullback and I pulled my center back. And doing that together is an absolute just destructive way to play. You, you just, you're never going to be successful doing that. But we recovered it because I was able to read it. Now, this is also an example of just like showing you guys that you can do stuff really poorly and still get an advantage. So like now I have an advantage because now I'm on an attack. And if you look at this, now his whole team's forward because he had a really aggressive position. And now we're going to go over the top. And do I take it with a touch and I hit a fake? Do I hit a fake? Hit the fake? And then right back to him. So um, we read that. The, so last time... Um, We've been hit, we hit with these fakes, and so I fake, and that gets him to really commit into the goal, and that's actually kind of the idea there. So, uh, we got, hey, he almost blocked that too, man. We almost blocked that. So, uh, that, I mean, that's, that's pretty good. He's a pretty good player, to be honest. So, he just does that backward step, and so we're going to step, step, step. We're going to wait, watch the rotation. We're going to watch the rotation. Um, and we're broken. Now I need to step down, step down, step down. We're right there. We're waiting. There's an open, and we just make a terrible mistake. Uh, we just didn't close it down. So our fullback's out. I need to drop. I need to stay in relative positions, like here, here, here. And I need, so I basically need to drag here to here and here to here. That's what I need to do. We're in an okay spot. That's not bad. Now I need to stay right here and right here. And then I need to come on the back side there. But he stays on the interior, and I don't pull Vieira over. And there's the blunder, ladies and gentlemen. We didn't pull Vieira. And then I'm actually defending I'm defending a passing lane versus a shooting lane. So I need to actually focus and defend this way. And I go over the top where there's nobody at. There's nobody home. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching an idiot play this game so that's me being a a dumb i will tell you that okay so guys we all do dumb stuff um we all do dumb stuff we all do dumb stuff we all do dumb stuff it's about being able to know when you do dumb stuff versus and then do it the next day and the next day and the next day if you do it from week to week that might happen that's why you may go 20 and 0 and then you'll go 14 and 6 the next weekend because you'll do stupid stuff like this so to really go 20 and 0 guys consistently you just can't be doing stupid stuff all the time. Like, it's mostly like you just limit some of that stupidity. Like, you guys can see how stupid I'm playing this. I'm playing dumb, baby. We we are playing, we are playing so dumb. It's absolutely insane, right? It's, 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 it is disgusting how stupid I am playing. Real, really. Like, that's, that's what it comes, that's what it boils down to. I'm playing stupid, okay? I'm playing dumb. Playing very dumb. But I believe this is a champions. This is a champs match, and I think we're I think we're like sixteen and uh like what sixteen and two I believe in this match. Um, I th I think I finished rank two last week. So this is me playing at like a rank two level, if that makes sense. So we're still playing at a decent level. It's just that we're just not there, right? But anyway, so this guy's really into this. So, so I'm making a bad pass. There's no reason for me to chip that pass. Now I've got no outlets. I have to play smart here. I have to really, really focus here. I'm really focused. And you can see I'm maintaining that position. There's that faint position. This is a little skill you guys need to have in your game. And this is why I really recommend watching these full videos. Because, like, you'll totally miss this. And this is, like, a huge concept. 
So like right here, when we get into this spot, if you see, uh, if you see, this is like, like what Tony Cruz does. Tony Cruz and like Sergio Busquets are so good at this. And this is a skill that I believe everybody should know. Okay. You need to know this and it's not a hard skill. It's just a timing thing. So when we get the ball like this right here, what we're trying to do is we are, well, not yet, not yet. This one, right? Here, when you're going to get pressed here, this is why a lot of you guys may get pressed and you may, may, may not like your pressing. So right here, and then it looks like I take that little tap, that touch. It looks like I'm going to rotate and then play that way. And I just sell that position. And so if you look at it, if we go back and watch this, watch it in full time. Boom. And that little fake. And then that breaks that defensive position and that allows me to be, make that attacking run. And so that's how fast I can rotate and get into that position by that little fake. That's what created the space for me. Oy! And so then, of course, he comes from, comes from behind. There we are. We're broken. We need to manage the interior. We manage the interior. One, two, one, two. Patience stripes to the striker. We had it. We had it. And we missed it. Timing's off. So this is us solving the puzzle, ladies and gentlemen. We just solved the puzzle. And then we just... Just didn't get the right timing. So we're right there. And so me getting held down, we barely missed it. We barely missed it. I had an opportunity, but we barely missed it with the timing. And so I am thinking, okay. So like if I read that and I don't pass that, guys, that kind of tells me that I'm thinking a little bit better than I thought, even though I'm making tons of defensive mistakes. Then we get in a nice, great position, managing defensive awareness as well. And that's a very good uh, attack sequence, even though we're offside. So I want to show something to you guys. This is actually understanding a full total game. There's a difference between mastery and just understanding, okay? So, like, when I send this player in, wouldn't it make sense to send him all the way through? But why would I pass it to him right at that spot? Well, these are what I call, like, the quarterback locations. So I really like to say this is these are, like, the quarterback positions. Is like right here, these are the dangerous angles, right? We're trying to basically attack. We're basically trying to attack like this. This is what we want to do. We really want to like seam these passes through. This is like kind of the idea. And so if you guys can get the ball to like one of these locations, like right here or here, you have a total, you have like total control. You have total control and you get them switched on. And so when I get the ball right here, I'm not wanting to get the ball here. Why? Because I will have to be forced to turn. I want to look directly straight and just seam a pass through if it opens. I want to rotate people over. So that's exactly what we do. And so I get the pass there, and then I use him, but I let go of him because I want to manage the defensive position as well. Because if he gets too high, then the counterattack. So I let go of this, and that's why I call it game theory technique. That's a game theory technique to manage the defensive location. So I pass that in the intent that I'm going to get pinched, and then I'm going to rotate the ball because he's actually high. So this allowed me the passing lane this way versus having to go turn and then pass this, and then, then these guys rotate over. So that allowed me space, essentially. That's their purpose. And so I barely missed that. I don't even know how that's off. That's very close, but we barely miss it, barely off. Uh, we're still down a goal in the 60th, trying to go, uh, trying to get ranked two here, so... Uh, we're trying to get ranked two, so we're, you know we we got like two matches. Here we go. I I do think this one may go into extra time, so it's gonna get uh it's gonna get, ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna get a little sloppy. Uh, but who, here we go. We're gonna maintain both positions. He's gonna pinch. Now he's gonna try to switch. So either he's gonna try to stay right here or he's gonna rotate this way. That's exactly what he does. He stays in. He stays inverted. So then we're gonna nat naturally we're breaking. We're breaking. We're breaking. I need to manage both of those positions. We do that very well. He tries to go over the top. And so now, if you look at this, now he's, ah, I make a really bad pass or touch. Whoa. Barely miss it. Barely miss it. We kind of just had to focus and, or we just kind of had to like scrap whatever we had there. So there goes the play. We're going to manage, 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 manage. Interior. There's the step. We got him into a bad, a bad location. Now we're in a great spot. Now we have to be patient. We have to be patient. We have to be patient. And then he gets knocked from behind. I absolutely hate that. It's like when you're when you're holding a player down, uh, and you're you're boxing a player off, and then they just keep on they just keep on pushing at you. So we keep on pinching him to the corner, making him bad RNG shots. We're gonna wait. 
try to pinch him, pinch him, wait for that focus. We have the lane. We had the lane. Now it pulls us off. Now we have to rotate. And, oh, we get a little lucky because he oh, went way overwhelmed and we're off again. So that was a bad play. Now my fullback's out, so we're going to shift the play high. That's what we wanted to do, but he did a really good. He solved that pretty well. He doesn't choose to pass that, which is uh, kind of shocking because of how wide open he was. Then we get the ball out wide. Here we are. We're going to wait, try to pull these players, pull these players, pull these players, pull these players, just trying to keep the momentum going, pulling players. Now our momentum's dead. He's in a pretty good position. Now tempo's up, center back is on us, and we don't rotate. So if I'm at a higher ELO, guys, I'm going bang, 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 and we're going to try to attack that. One, two, three. The second I see that, I just I can, I can promise you I will hit that. But nope, we're too slow, and then I just go for a finesse because I'm, I'm just scrapping at, at this point right now. I'm just scrapping. I'm just trying to scrap. Um, okay, so we're going to rotate inward. I'm being aggressive there. I need to win the ball back. It's in the 70th minute, so now I need to be aggressive. We had we had Kafu and I missed it. So I'm missing all these opportunities. I'm getting great opportunities. And so all I have to do is hit that. This one right here. That's all I have to do here is hit that pass. and We're good, but we miss. But then we're, we're on the, uh, we're on the backtrack. There's the rotation. There's rotation. Here's the ball. It's going to rotate. We're going to drive Smith down. There she goes. And we pinch, we pinch, we pinch. Do we win that? We don't. We're going to be passive here. We're going to be passive. Here comes the rotation. There's the fake, and he goes for another sh shot, and he barely misses. Um, to be fair, I don't think he should have hit this. Uh, low RNG, but okay. So let's see here. If I'm right in his way, I'm right in his way, and I animate. So I get a little lucky because it animates. Usually when it animates like that, that's not a good thing. So let's go two times through here. I switch to 4 3 2, 1. I'm going to go full out press. We're going to put in Rafael Leal. We're going to put in Kavar at the right wing and then Guler at the striker position. Incisive plus pass for both of those guys. It's going to be very effective. I want Guler in the middle, though, because I think he's a little bit better finisher than Kavar, even though Kavar is 5 star, 5 star. Uh, but okay, here's the rotation. He does, he plays it short. Somehow he wins that ball. Uh, we're gonna manage the location, manage the location, manage the location. Here comes the rotation. Ball is gonna come in. I need a sh I need a stretch and rotate, stretch and rotate. We end up winning. There's position. Fake, 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 fake. Wait, 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 wait. And we miss it. We miss it. But that's okay. Here comes the rotation. Need a pinch, 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 pinch. We need a pinch right here. We need a zone right here. We need a pinch. We don't. We don't. I don't, but we're in a really good spot on the attack if we win it. So, nope. Kavar, I want Kavar. I actually kind of want Kavar to float up there. I want Kavar to float out. I don't think I put on constant press yet. I don't think I have, or I don't think I've switched to uh, my pressing strategy yet. So, there's the rotation. Being patient. Creative run inward. I missed the creative run. We're going to manage and attack the position. Just timing. Proper time, proper finish. So our little little nice on the RNG though. Uh that pass right there, it took this is a really hard pass to make. You have to come all the way across the box. So like right here, I have to come all the way across the field in that interior to get to that lane to be able to open up and stretch. So um not I don't think that's me just being fortunate in that situation. So I believe it just ends up in tie. And so then we go into extra time. So let's go ahead and hit that and go right into extra time. So now uh, we make some adjustments. We're not going to press, of course, but we do get that late goal that brings us back into the match. Um, it's it's a kind of a big deal. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of a big deal. So he tries to hit that. He tries to hit this shot again, man. He's just trying to hit these finesse shots. So he can't penetrate me. So he's just is trying to pinch right here and then step. So I, I'm, I animate again and see how close it gets. It gets really close. But me just being there is what it animates. So, or, oh, he actually almost hit that to win the game. So now we're going to go back to the 4-2-3-1. Um, I don't think I switch out. Oh, I put in Rice. I put in Rice because I felt like Hanko is just getting uh, kind of beat. And so I think he was just getting beat on like everything. But anyways, now we go right into the match. We're going to rotate, rotate, rotate. Here's the kickoff. So there it is. We got space. We just super late. So I need to read this really early. So right now I need to read it, and I need to pass right now. Ah, that player comes up, doesn't he? That that threw me off. Uh, I need to go to Kafu. It's a Kavar. But now we're off. Uh, I need to drop 
Rice. I need to drop. I need to drop both. Um, hopefully Rice comes into the position. We're gonna manage the interior, manage the interior, and he goes for that same shot. So now he's doing the exact same thing every single time. Dude, my shark keeps on popping up. It's kind of annoying. But okay, so here we keep we keep going, keep going, keep going. Um There's yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. So far we're good. We're good. We're good. There's the fake. There's over the top. We're gonna wait. 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 And man, it's all the way to the striker. Hold, wait. Now now is the attack. Now we just have to shift. We have to hold up play. Hold up play. Hold up play. Wait for the commitment. We got the commitment. Right card is on. Power shot cancel. There's the game of wit. <laughs> just rip and miss, man. This is what you're gonna see when I'm not on my game. This is what you're going to see. You're going to see a wide open cross and I shoot the ball across the field. So like a wide, wide open cross and money and I just rip a shot. So um, what happens is in my brain, I read the cross too late. And so I am going to power up a shot and then I see the cross and then I want to cancel and hit the pass, but I don't cancel. I just rotate my angle. And with <laughs> with precision shooting, it doesn't it doesn't uh, go to goal. So here we're going. Patience. There's the there's the manipulation. We got him. I think this is it. This is it. There's the fake. Oh, right card is a monster. But look at the slide tackle in the box. We just rotate and perfectly placed. But we had to force a pen. We had to force a pen, man. We had to force a pen down the middle, though. Let's see here. Do I make this? Did that go in? I don't think it did. No, it's going out. So we do we get lucky or does him stabbing at me uh because of his composure levels uh the reason why we win uh we end up winning this? Um, but in the end, it's going to be based off of composure. So we just have to manage and maintain the structure of the interior. So we're going to kind of, I'm going to try to zoom through this just so if we do see any, uh, I, I believe that this is when, this is sometimes the difference between finishing the games out and not. So a lot of you guys may struggle in the press. And so he's going to definitely start pressing me. And if he's going to start pressing me, I want to basically, if he's going to start pressing me, I'm going to do something now. So, yeah. So, you see how he's starting to press me? Now, you want to hold on to the possession and see how I'm just finding that space. I'm just waiting for that clock to go out uh, because of the time. It, uh, so, that's more of a game awareness thing. So, now we're going to be in. Now, now he's going to be attacking us like crazy, though. And so, now we need to lo lock in defensively. Manage the interior. Manage the interior. Patience, patience, patience. There's the creative run. We're being patient. And some reason I sent Grimaldo, so I actually slide tackle trying to pull him down. And so now I need to track back, track back, track back, track back. And so now it's dangerous. So we're gonna slow this down here. We need to track back, follow the position, follow the position. There it comes in. I think we might get another goal here. Now this whole team's forward. Let's get this. Oh, dude, Rice with the launch. So now his right card's up. I think we're gonna get another goal here. He's gonna try to go for another cross. And actually, it looks like uh, I actually put in Rodrigo. It looks like I put Rodrigo, uh, Rodri, at my fullback because of how much he was crossing. Um, I think I do remember this. He tried to keep on crossing at this stage. And so I think we put in Rod Rodri at left back, which is usually not the case. I would have put, uh, put my Teo in that I have, but... Uh, that Rodri is way bigger, so I wanted to do that. So here's the here's the attack, and now here's the run out. Inside some creative run, just enough space, just enough position, and bang it, and there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's it for today. That's how you come back. That's how you seal and lock down a win. Until next time, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys soon. Uh, live streams, boot camp, all of it will be coming up soon. I'm working diligently on it. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for tuning in.